Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Nathan's hot dogs under massive attack from unhinged leftists after Trump connection revealed. Since the left can't win in the arena of ideas, they once again have to resort to threats and bullying tactics. This time Nathan's Hot Dogs has landed in hot water after news broke that executive chairman Howard Lorber would host a fundraiser event for President Donald Trump in the Hamptons. So because the left just can't win on ideas hundreds of people have since a pledge not to buy Nathan's Hot Dogs after finding out that the president would appear at Lorber's Southampton home Friday for a fundraising event for his 2020 campaign. Keep America great! Later this week 100% Fed Up reported that a Nathan's Hot Dogs spokesperson responded to news of the proposed boycott in an official statement that explained that the company does not officially support any political agenda. We acknowledge and respect that people's political views differ, the spokesperson said in a response statement. Our focus is solely on serving the best products to our customers across the country. Lorber is a personal longtime friend to President Trump and served as an economic advisor during his 2016 campaign. Later he was appointed chairman of the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum's Board of Trustees. But not all the fallout was negative for our own army of deplorables came out. Yes, the left thinks this will actually work. They think that they can boycott when everyone knows their boycotts last two weeks tops and then they become outraged about something else and move along. Here is more on what happens when the right boycotts a company via Breitbart. More than one million people have signed the boycott pledge against Target, following the secretive decision by executives to open all of their stores' bathrooms and changing rooms to people of both sexes. Late Thursday night, roughly 75 people a minute were adding their name to the petition as it clicked over one million, just after 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's a million families who are going to spread the word about Target, so they may not get those customers back, or their money, said Tim Wildman, president of the American Family Association which has hosted the boycott. Target's management is just going to have step up here, and, say we're selling hammers and hats, we're not into social engineering," he said. The National Border Patrol Council did a study, after the border wall negotiations began, where they found that 89 percent of all Border Patrol agents were supportive of an expanded border wall for security purposes while merely 7 percent were opposed. As a result of negotiations and hard work, Earlier this year the House of Representatives and Senate appropriated approximately $1.6 billion for the border wall, out of the $1.3 trillion omnibus spending bill. Shortly thereafter, the administration announced the beginning of the construction which included eight prototype barriers which were made out of concrete. Just two months ago in June, construction workers began working on the San Diego section of the wall. Those on the left who are opposed to the border wall have protested immensely. Their greatest condemnations include concerns over divided land, Hidalgo County, Mexico's opposition, migrant deaths, and most of all, the environmental impact. While these have always been concerns they have increased since the president has made the border wall a key policy of his administration. Environmental concerns mainly center around the use of waivers by the Department of Homeland Security to allegedly bypass various laws such as the National Environmental Policy Act, the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, the Noise Control Act, the Clean Air Act the Clean Water Act, the Endangered Species Act, the Federal Land Policy and Management Act, the American Indian Religious Freedom Act, and the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act to name a few. However, regardless of concerns construction on the wall has begun with the support of the President, the House of Representatives, and the Senate. New Mexico is just one of many others that have already started complying with federal law to ensure this outcome. It is expected that those in New Mexico and those representing other southern border states will begin to either comment on the process or make their stance known. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.